Welcome to The Realm, where tonight we're diving into the dramatic world of pop culture. In today's episode, we explore Taylor Swift's latest album and the fiery lyrics that have reignited her feud with Kim Kardashian. Let's delve into the narrative Swift crafts, the responses it has provoked, and what this means for the music industry. Taylor Swift has masterfully turned her music into a canvas for her personal experiences, often weaving intricate narratives that resonate deeply with her audience. Her ability to use her life as lyrical inspiration has not only defined her career, but also set her apart as a storyteller in the music industry. Here are several key examples of how she has done this throughout her discography. Number 1. Dear John from Speak Now 2010 This track is widely believed to be about her brief relationship with John Mayer. Swift uses her lyrics to convey a sense of betrayal and heartache, crafting a poignant narrative about a young woman coming to terms with a darker side of love. The song's narrative style, coupled with its emotional depth, showcases Swift's ability to transform personal pain into a compelling music story. Number 2. All Too Well from Red, 2012 Often hailed as one of her best works, All Too Well is a raw and a vivid recount of a past relationship. Believed to be with actor Jake Gyllenhaal, the song takes listeners on a journey throughout the memories of a romance, from its intoxicating beginnings to its painful end. The detailed storytelling, such as the infamous cough left at his sister's house, turns personal memories into lyrics that fans and critics praise for their emotional intensity and relatability. Left my scarf there at your sister's house and you've still got it. Third, Blank Space from 1989, which was in 2014. With this song, Swift cleverly addresses and satirizes the media's por portrayal of her dating life. Blank Space presents a narrative of a woman who embraces the crazy ex-girlfriend trope, showcasing Swift's self-awareness and her ability to play with public perception throughout her music. Number 4. Look What You Made Me Do from Reputation 2017 This track marks a significant tonal shift in Swift's music, reflecting her response to various public controversies, including her feud with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. The song and its accompanying music video serves as a narrative of rebirth and vengeance, with Swift taking control of the narrative that had been imposed on her, declaring the old Taylor dead. Number 5. Betty from Folklore 2020 In a departure from her usual style, Swift adopts the perspective of a teenage boy named James to tell a story of a young love and regret. This song illustrates her narrative versatility as she explores storytelling from different perspectives, enriching her musical landscape with fictional elements while maintaining emotional authenticity. Betty, I won't make assumptions about why you switched your homeroom, but I think it's because of me. Number 6. Marjorie from Evermore 2020 This track is a heartfelt homage to her late grandmother, Marjorie Finlay, who was an opera singer. Swift used her grandmother's advice and memories to craft a song that is both a tribute and a personal reflection on loss and legacy. The lyrics, What died didn't stay dead. You're alive. You're alive in my head. Highlight the profound influence her grandmother had on her, life and career. Throughout these songs, Sailor has not only chronicled her personal experiences, but also connected with her audience on a universal level. Each track serves as a chapter in her ongoing narrative, allowing fans to feel a part of her journey. Her skills in transforming personal anecdotes into relatable stories has cemented her status as one of the most influential storytellers in contemporary music. Her latest release is no exception, but this time, one track in particular has everyone talking. Part 2 In a bold move, Taylor includes verses that many believe are thinly veiled jobs A Kim Kardashian. Taylor Swift's Thank You Amy from her latest album Album, the Tortured Poets Department, the anthology, has rapidly become a focal point for both Swift fans and pop culture enthusiasts. This track is a standout in lyrical craft, with Swift spinning a complex narrative that delves into personal conflicts and media perception. The contentious lyrics, all the time you were throwing punches, I was building something and I can't forgive the way you made me feel. I can't forget the way you made me feel, expresses a deep personal state and reflects on past public disputes, echoing with an emotional intensity that resonates with listeners. Musically, the track shifts from a minimalist piano-driven verse to a dynamic emotionally charged chorus. This musical progress
microaggression effectively underscores the journey from vulnerability to empowerment. Well, the speculation surrounding Thank You Amy was ignited by Swift's well-known penchant from embedding hidden meanings and personal references in her lyrics. Fans and critics alike have scoured the song for clues that might shed light on Swift's feeling about her feud with Kim Kardashian. This search for deeper meaning is not just about uncovering gossip, it represents Swift's ability to engage her audience in a deeper analysis and appreciation of her work. The discussions often extend beyond deciphering the backstory, touching on the implications of public figures, airing grievances in such a public and artistic manner. Another intriguing track from Taylor Swift's latest album, The Torture Poets Department, The Anthology, is Cassandra. This song captures Swift's lyrical genius as she addresses themes of foresight and misunderstanding, a reference to the mythological figure Cassandra, known for her unheeded prophecies. In the context of Swift's personal life, the song subtly alludes to her ongoing public disputes, particularly with Kanye West and the infamous snake references that have colored her interactions with him and the media. In Cassandra, Swift crafts lyrics that reflected her feelings of being misunderstood and dismissed, much like the mythological figure. She used imagery of snakes and betrayal, which fans and media have long associated with her fallout with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian following their highly publicized VMA incident and his later song lyric that reignited their feud. The line, predictions made, but no one listened. Now the snake have come to hiss, symbolizes Swift's attempts to articulate her side of the story, which she felt were ignored and misconstrued. The reference to snakes has ignited a flurry of discussion among fans and critics, with many viewing it as a direct callback to her feud with Kanye West. This feud becomes symbolically represented by the snake emoji, which fans use in mass after Kim Kardashian released snippets of a phone call between Swift and Wes, suggesting Swift had approved controversial lyrics about her in Wes's song. In response to Taylor Swift's provocative track, Thank You Amy, Kim Kardashian was quick to voice her perspective. Recognizing the potential impact of the song on her public image, Kardashian turned to social media to defend herself and address the implications on Swift's cutting lyric. Kim Kardashian's reaction was both immediate and strategic, leveraging her substantial social media presence. She issued a series of tweets aimed at clarifying her perspective and countering the narrative presented in Swift's song. In these tweets, Gardation expressed both disappointment and frustration, suggesting that the song unfairly painted her in a negative light based on past disagreements that had been highly publicized. Kim said, It's disheartening to be painted as a villain once more. Misunderstandings and disagreements from years ago don't define who I am today. Music has the power to heal, but it can also mislead. Let's focus on positivity and truth, not reality hashing the past. Kardashian's response served not only as a defense but also sparked further discussions about the nature of celebrity feuds, the responsibilities of public figures, and the dynamics of media portrayal. Her proactive approach in managing her narrative demonstrates her understanding of the influence she wields in the media. By responding swiftly and publicly, she aimed to mitigate any negative fallout and control the narrative surrounding her portrayal in Swift's song. As expected, the clash between these two titans of entertainment has called the attention of the media, turning personal grievances into public spectacles. Let's examine how the press and social media are reacting to this renewed feud. The media has been quick to jump on the story, with entertainment news outlets providing round-the-clock coverage. From detailed analysis of Taylor Swift's lyrics reactions to Kim Kardashian's tweet, the story is dissected from every angle. Social media platforms have exploded with reactions. Swift's fans, known as Swifties and Kardashian's followers, are engaging in heated debates, defending their favorite celebrity and speculating about the implications of this feud. On the balcony in summer air. Fan bases are not just passive observers, they are active participants in shaping the narrative. Swifties and Kardashian crowd are deeply invested in their idols' lives, often viewing any critique as a personal attack. Social media serves as the battleground for these modern fan wars. Platforms like X, Instagram, and TikTok amplify voices, sometimes turning personal support into viral movements. These fan wars do more than just dominate social media, they influence how the public perceives the feud. 
Each meme, each tweet, each post contributes to a larger narrative, often outshining the original issue. While these words can seem like just another part of celebrity culture, they carry a real emotional weight for many fans, who invest a significant part of their identity in these public figures. As we've seen, the clash between Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian isn't just a story of two celebrities, it's a larger cultural event that encompasses millions of people, each bringing their own perspective and emotional involvement. This episode has shown us the power of fandom and the intensity of digital age conflicts. What begins as a personal dispute between celebrities can quickly evolve into a significant cultural dialogue, reminding us of the profound influence these figures have on their fans and the broader cultural landscape. Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian are more than just celebrities, they are cultural icons whose actions influence millions. This feud underscores the power of celebrity in shaping public discourse and the enduring appeal of narrative in music. From hit songs to headline news, the saga between Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian shows us that in the world of celebrities, the line between personal and public is incredibly thin. Thank you for joining us on this journey throughout the realm of music and celebrity feuds. Don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the stories that shape our culture.